guys, what's up? My name is Claire, this is Claire Minded. Today's video is all about the Ayurveda eating rules. So in Ayurveda, we basically have these guidelines, these rules, these basic principles, whatever you wanna call them, to kinda of help you guide through each of your meals that you're going through. And this is ultimately just there to help you have a greater digestion and ultimately a healthier life. So the Ayurveda eating rules. There's about 10 principles, rules, guidelines that I'm gonna go over today in this video and then I'll kind of give you a couple bonus tips at the end. So the first rule or basic principle of the Ayurveda eating rules is to sit in a calm environment. And you really wanna focus on bringing all five senses into this experience that you're having which, with each of your meals. So sitting in a calm environment, that means no TV, no phone, no book even, just sitting with yourself and your food and just acknowledging this present moment that you're about to consume and nourish your body so finding a calm environment maybe closing your eyes for a moment and just sitting with your food smelling it you know like hearing any noises that are coming along maybe you're sitting by a park and you can hear some trees some like brushes moving on beside you you can kind of connect to nature in that way so finding this calm environment maybe closing your eyes just centering yourself so your all five senses really come alive and come awake so calm environment is number one. Number two guideline is eating food that is prepared from love. It's coming from a place of love. And this is ultimately gonna help nourish not only the food that you're consuming, but also your body and your mind and your spirit. Because when you're preparing your food with love, you're putting that intention towards it. You're putting this grander sense of lifting, that element of just like love. And you're, when you take that into your body, it consumes you. So it fills you up with that same nourishing feeling of love and just gratitude. And so finding a, that intention behind your food is really gonna help that digestion move through your body and ultimately give your mind and your body a better sense of health. Number three guideline is to give things. This one is so simple and we don't do it nearly enough in our Western society, but just taking a moment and giving thanks before each meal. Anytime you have a drink, it doesn't have to be between every single bite, but just before you sit down and you're having a meal or you're having like a snack, just take a moment, close your eyes, give some gratitude, some thanks for the food that you're about to consume. Have thanks for being able to consume this food and just having thanks for being able to have the ability to go out and either buy the food or prepare the of food just take a moment and give thanks for the food itself that it was created on a beautiful planet and just taking that moment of gratitude you can say a light prayer before you can send that intention that loving gratitude like just before and giving thanks to the food itself give thanks to the people who prepared the food and give thanks for the ultimate spirit and that mother earth who provided the food ultimately so just take that moment give some things close your eyes say thank you food I love you food and then consume it so number four guideline kind of builds off the first one we talked about. So we talked about eating in a calm environment, right? So number four guideline is eating without distractions. So again, this is removing any kind of distraction and just ultimately sitting with you and your food. This includes TVs, phones, computers, books even. Just acknowledging your food as this own experience in itself and not doing anything else distracting while you're eating your food. And having those no distractions will ultimately help your health and your digestion move thoroughly through your body because you're not taking in all these other sensory impressions. So you're not trying to read a book, you're not trying to talk to a friend or watch TV, because then you're taking in all these other sensory impressions also while you're eating your food. And if you're watching a really harsh TV show or like Game of Thrones or something like Narcos, and then you're also eating the salad, you're taking in those sensory impressions of that very violent show and also incorporating that with your food so that goes into the food that you're eating is your environment and whatever you're consuming at that exact same time so by digesting that healthy salad of loving intention that you put in towards it but then you're also consuming in this really aggressive like challenging um, intense TV show that goes into the food that you're eating and then ultimately into your digestion. So you kind of want to keep those distractions away and just be present with your food in your calm environment. Number five of the Ayurveda eating rules is to chew your food 
thoroughly. And this doesn't mean you have to put your fork down between every bite, but that just that action actually encourages you to chew your food thoroughly. And I know it's really hard when you're super hungry, but that all comes back to being present with your food, acknowledging each bite, each taste that you are chewing. And I mean, this can be anywhere from like 21 to like 30. I don't know what you're eating, but like chewing it all the way until it's one consistency is ultimately the like the consistency that you want before you swallow it and put it down through the rest of your digestion system. And by chewing your food thoroughly, and like until it's all one consistency that's easier to break down in your stomach and that's easier for di your digestion to not only absorb the nutrients but to also help just kind of move it thoroughly because if you're not bringing it down all the way in your mouth then your stomach and your acids in your body have to do it for you and that creates a lot of turmoil in your digestion and it doesn't create this like smooth smooth channel that it can ultimately go through and should be going through. So you want to chew your food thoroughly. Number six, you're going to want to avoid any super cold food or drinks. Especially while you're eating, you want to focus on consuming warm foods. Warm foods are going to aid your digestive fire. We call it the Agni in Ayurveda. And you want to assist the Agni by like consuming warming foods because that's going to help the fire start to build up and burn through your digestive system a lot cleaner and a lot more efficient. So you want to avoid these like cold, super cold drinks because that's going to kind of shock the system and the body and it's going to disrupt the digestive system because it's not aiding in assistance towards the digestive fire, that Agni that we want to search for. Number seven of the Ayurveda eating rules is to only drink a small amount of water with your meals. And of course throughout your day you want to be drinking tons and tons of water, especially warm tea that's really going to assist that Agni, that digestive fire that we had just talked about. But while you consume your meals, you want to keep it to anywhere from about a half cup to a cup of liquids. And that you want some liquid to kind of help lubricate the food to help it move efficiently through your digestive system. But if you, if you drink too much liquid, it's going to disrupt the digestive process. And it's not going to be able to break down and it's going to weaken your digestive fire if you consume too many liquids. Number eight of the Ayurveda eating rules is to listen to your body. And I struggle with this so much because I love food. I love the taste. So anytime I taste something good, all I want to do is eat more of it like all the time but it, it's really something that you have to kind of ground yourself with and listen to your body I really have to I encourage my friends and my partner to kind of keep me accountable for it but I have to like put my fork down I have to like sit back in my chair for a minute I have to close my eyes I have to breathe with my stomach just to like acknowledge that my belly is full and are you beta you should really only be eating to about 75% capacity of feeling full if you want to call it because when you're at 100% of feeling full you kind of get like a little sluggish you get this kapha feeling and it weighs you down a little bit so you kind of want to keep it to about 75% listen to your body close your eyes become attuned to exactly when you are feeling that hunger and when you are full. So number nine of the Ayurveda eating rules is to wait about three hours in between each meal. And you wanna wait at least about three hours because this gives your body enough time to fully digest the meal that you had before. And so you wanna avoid snacking throughout the whole day because that's just gonna keep your Agni and your digestive fire working, working, working all this overtime. And you're never gonna to come to a place of being able to fully digest the food and process it all the way through your body from each stage from your mouth to elimination you want to make sure your body has enough time to properly digest that food before you start to intake other sensory impressions other foods so you want to allow that time so about three hours in between each meal and try to avoid snacking as much as possible and the last number 10 of the Ayurveda eating rules is to eat all six tastes at each meal now once you learn the six tastes, you'll learn how to better incorporate them into each meal. But the six tastes of Ayurveda that you really want to incorporate into every meal is sweet, sour, salty, pungent, bitter, and astringent. And these are the six tastes of Ayurveda and they're so crucial into a healthy digestion and a healthy life because you're better able to balance all these hormones in your body by consuming all the six tastes and you're getting all these flavors and it's giving you a really well full rounded impression of all the food and the digestion that you're going to start intaking. So you want to consume all six tastes at each meal. So building off the Ayurveda eating rules, there's about a couple tips that I can give you as a little bonus extra. So you're going to want to eat organic as much as possible. This is going to aid digestion because it's avoiding extra chemicals that are being put in your food. 
you also want to choose fresh foods as often as possible so choosing from a local market where it says fresh it's in season it's as ripe as possible those are perfect and it's going to aid in digestion and the clarity through your body and ultimately your health also you're going to want to avoid processed foods and junk foods and the last little tip that i can give you eat more plants so these were all about the ayurveda eating rules a couple of bonus tips at the end if you want to learn more about the six tastes check out some other videos hit the subscribe button let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i can't wait to share more with you